Hey, Neha tonight here. I'm going to show you the power of using Google Tasks and how it integrates with Google Calendar. I'm going to show you tips and tricks for using this in a powerful way, how to make changes, and how to move tasks around based on the days that you want to have them completed. And I'm going to get into it right after this. Gmail is a program that so many of us use on a daily basis, but are we utilizing all of the different powerful features within it? And I'm going to focus in today on Google Tasks. And if we're in our Gmail inbox here, we come over to the right sidebar and you'll see these, uh, these icons. Google Tasks is right here. You can click on that. It will open up your task bar here. And here you have different uh, lists. I've created a couple of different extra lists besides the default one. You simply just create a list. Let's just do a test list for the sake of this tutorial. And there's my new list. How do I add a new task? Just click on that. We'll do task number one. And if I click on that pencil, I can add in some details like first task part, second task part, and so forth. If you want to add subtasks, you can do that here. Subtask 1, 1A. And then you can even add in a date where you want, you want to complete this task by. So let's say I want to complete it by tomorrow. And you can even set a time. Let's, let's say it's 12 p.m. Click OK. It's now on your list. If you want to delete this task for whatever reason, you can. there's this trash can there that you can use to delete it. Come back here to my task list. These three dots here will enable you to sort it either by your own order or by date. You can rename the list. You can delete the list. This shows you a whole lot of keyboard shortcuts that can improve your productivity when it comes to using these tasks and are great to learn. And then finally, copy reminders to tasks. So we don't have any reminders here, but if you did, it would copy it right to a task. Now I'm going to show you one powerful thing here when it comes to tasks. It, it doesn't really matter uh, what, but we go back to our email here, let's say you have an email that's been sent to you where you're expected to complete something by a certain date and you want to bring in the details of that email. Instead of having to type it all in as a new task, you can just click and drag it. So let's say we're going to click on this one, bring it right over, and bam, there's the details of that. If we open it up, you can rename this. I'm going to leave it the same. You can add details, the date and time. Again, let's do tomorrow. Let's say 2 p.m. And any subtasks that you would want to go, want to use. Now, the, the beauty of this is, let's say you're back in your, your inbox here, and you want to click on that specific message to see what was in the detail of that message. Just click on it. There, I'm sorry, click on that, and it opens up the message right here in your inbox so you can see what it's all about from your task list. So lots of powerful things that we can do here with our tasks. You can X that out if you want to get back to compose mode in your inbox. Now let's go over to our calendar. This is the really cool part when it comes to Google Tasks, is when we add these tasks and set a date, and a time. They populate it right into our calendar. Here we have the week view for our calendar, and you can see the tasks, two tasks that I just created here. If we click on it, it'll open it up, and it'll give us a lot of the same features. We can delete it, we can see the details, we can mark it complete, or we click on the pencil icon, and we can even edit it right in the calendar. How cool is that? And we can make changes here, save it, there it is. Now let's say we want to drill down on just this day. 
we can do that. And let's say we want to change the time that this is due. All you do is click and drag, move that here to 4 p.m., no problem. Easily did do that. Let's go back to the week view for this. And let's say we want to have this be done on a different day. Let's say we want to tackle this today, so I'll drag it over here to a particular time. Bam. Now I've got it set there on my calendar. And so anytime that you make changes to your tasks here or in your task list, they will update in both places in nearly real time. If we go back to our task list, we'll see these changes reflected here. You see this is now due today by today at 6.30 p.m. And the great thing about these tasks with Google is they will send you, there will be a notification if you set that up to notify you on your desktop or on your phone. If you have the Gmail app on your phone, it makes it even more powerful. It will notify you of when a task is currently due and you can set that up. So there's a quick overview of Google Tasks and just how powerful these are, especially when it's coupled with the Google Calendar and being able to set ways to, to get the things done that we have to complete for work, or maybe it's a personal uh, task that we have to be done. And uh, one last thing that I want to show you while we're in here is how to create a new task right in your calendar. Just right click, I'm sorry, how we create it right in our calendar is just click on a particular time and you can create this as an event or you click over here on the task new task for Saturday again if you want to add a description get it done soon and then the list the task list that you want it to be on and then the time you want it to be due let's say you want to change the time up a little bit click Save there it is. So you can add it. You can just do it all right in your calendar and then come back over here to your task list and it will show up here on your task list right here, new tasks for Saturday. So either place you can work on it and edit the details. So I appreciate you watching this. Hope this has been helpful for you in increasing your productivity with Gmail, with Google Tasks and your calendar. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Handy Hudsonite, for more tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. And don't forget the notification bell so that you get my content as it goes up. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.